If you currently own a Zoom H1n, it's this guy in my hands, then you know that this guy is absolutely amazing. The amount of things you can do with it and how you can use it, it's just mind-blowing. If you don't own one, I tell you why you should. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways how you can use the Zoom H1n. The first way how you can use the Zoom H1n is very obvious, it's what you see now. I'm using the Zoom H1n as a microphone, so I'm not attached to the camera audio. I don't use any on-top camera microphone at the moment. I'm only using the Zoom H1n in my hands to this talking style video. So it's a very free way to record a video. It's very comfortable. And I sync the audio in post in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to show you right now how you can do that too. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve right here and sync those two audios. So in DaVinci Resolve, as you can see, I already imported everything here. So just select all your video files and all the audio files press right click and then here you can see auto sync audio and we're gonna do based on waveform sync and um, let it do its thing and then just only select the video clips here and just pull it to your timeline and as you can see if I click here if you currently own a Zoom H1n, you can tell that this device... So that is how you sync your audio in DaVinci Resolve. The second way how to use the Zoom H1n is that as if you would normally use an on-top camera microphone, like the Rode Pro Plus or something like that, the same way you can use the Zoom H1n, on the back of the Zoom, there's a tiny screw hole and with the right equipment, you can actually attach this guy onto your camera. Currently, I have this Smori cage on my camera, so with the right equipment, I can also attach this uh, either to the side or to the top of my camera. Basically, this will work the same way as, um, as a shotgun mic would work, just you would use the Zoom H1n. So if you think to buy some microphone, I would definitely buy now the Zoom H1n, not uh, a shotgun mic, because with the Zoom H1n, you can even hold this in your hand. It's not attached to your camera. It doesn't require a cable. So it's a much better choice than um, shotgun mic would be that you can only use with your camera. The third way how you can use the Zoom H1n voice recorder is a little bit more specific. Soon I will shoot a wedding video for a couple. And I heard this from actually other people that you can actually plug this guy in to the DJ's uh, sound mixer on the wedding. This guy, when you press record, it's just gonna record everything. The DJ's, you know, the wireless microphone that the guests will use to give speeches and wedding vows. This guy gonna record everything. There's only one thing to look for. You need one audio cable, a 3.5 millimeter jack to a quarter inch adapter cable and this way you can plug this zoom h1n into the dj's audio recorder and record everything just like this and there's one more bonus thing i want to share with you maybe you already heard about this or if you do it it's this device for that is just the perfect for you it's called asmr you know when something is really close to the microphone or you just want to record like tiny voices like something like this or something like this when the microphone is disturbing it close to your mouse and you know you can just make very strange things with it so this is asmr some people do it i never tried but if you do asmr this device is just absolutely perfect for you but before you go and buy the zoom h1n there are just a few more things i want to share with you first of all the price this guy currently goes for 130 australian dollar so it's maybe not too much for the quality it can deliver i think it's a good deal and you can use this guy for like so many purposes when it comes to power this guy you can use it with two 
AAA batteries or um, there's a small USB hub at the side of the Zoom H1n so you can use it with a USB-A cable it's uh, very convenient not only with batteries when it comes to um, memory this guy only accepts certain type of memory cards specifically a 2 gigabyte micro SD card or a maximum 32 gigabyte micro SD HC memory card and if you use anything else anything else memory card um, this guy just won't take it so you can't use it uh, I know because before I tried with a 64 gigabyte memory card and that was already too much so I couldn't use it so just be mindful of this maybe you buy this guy and you have to buy a separate memory card for it to use it so um, that's just it but just tell me I want to hear your voices do you currently own the zoom h1n or do you planning to buy and how do you use it what do you use it for just write me in the comments and if you like this video just don't forget to press the like because it really helps me a lot and um, subscribe to my channel for future content like this I'm gonna see you guys in the next video Bye.